It was the first game of the year for Gonzaga, so there were some growing pains out there, but they relatively cruised to a 95-64 win over Alabama State in the kennel tonight. Corey Kispert, the leader for Gonzaga out there emotionally and also physically. He had 28 points, a career high. Kispert really got going in the second half when he made this soaring dunk. It was a statement. It put the Zags up 60 to 41. After that, Kispert would go on to score nine of Gonzaga's next 11 points. He is somebody the Zags are really going to need to rely on this season. It definitely felt good for him to live up to the expectations. It's just one of those feelings where, you know, everything you put up just goes in. Uh, every, ba every basketball player's kind of had those games uh, from time to time, and it just might happen to be tonight. So um, felt good, kind of played off the energy in the crowd, and um, that's when I play my best. I'm really happy for him. He's, he's really playing at a high level right now. He's, he's shooting the ball well. He's finishing well. Um, you know, he's leading these guys fairly well. I think it, hopefully that will continue to get better. And his defense has improved, so, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's been a real uh, – right spot for us so far. One scary moment for Gonzaga in the first half. Philip Petrushev went up for a layup, ended up spraining his ankle and was on the ground for a bit in pain. He was able to come back into the game, but it definitely put into perspective how a season can be taken away like that for Philip. And it also put into perspective Gonzaga's depth as Killian Tilly is still out. It happened out of nowhere and I mean, yeah, it can be it can be tricky, you know, especially if it's important game like you gotta be ready to just go in tape and just come back out even if it hurts but I mean I'll be fine it's a little twist so I'll be good.